So I got a new uh, addition to, for my trailer, and that is has a really small bar fridge. But I have an experiment for camping purposes because this has an actual little freezer, and it actually gets nice and cold. It doesn't take a whole lot of power, and I have it running off my lipo box. That is 120 amp hours of lithium polymer uh, battery. Started it no problem off a 300 watt inverter at its low frequency, so I have a good surge. It's running. It is 11:30 at night. I'm gonna run this to the left, or the inverter shuts off. And I want to see what kind of runtime I get out of this pack. I want to know if I can go three days or two days or one day or or what. So uh, we'll see. I have it turned up to max right now. So I think the compressor just runs the whole time, so it'll probably kill it overnight. But I want to see how what this fridge uh, stays at temperature-wise, and then adjust it from there. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update. All right, so it's the next morning. Fridge is still running off the lipo battery box and inverter. We started at 12.2 volts and we're now down to 11.77. Let's see how cold the fridge is. It's kind of pretty much freezing everywhere. And the freezer is minus 21. The fridge is about minus 1. So it's quite cold. And that's what the, the fridge turned up to the highest setting. It still turns on and off, but uh, it's on quite a bit. And yeah, we're going to see how long this runs still. So this has been running for 12 hours, almost 12 hours. And uh, we're going to let this run till she goes dead. So I would like to know how much run time we get with this on max, and then uh, I can always turn it down to get more run time. Well, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. See ya. All right, the little one playing in the background. It is now two o'clock the next day. The batteries are sitting at, yeah, let's focus this right there, okay. Yes, you're drinking lots. 11.64 volts, still running off the LiPo battery pack. And I just put some beer in the fridge. There's one in the freezer. I just added this, and what are we sitting at? Minus temperatures, the beer's kind of warm. But, uh, yeah, this thing's working great. So we're gonna see how long this thing uh, will power it for. Looks like it'll run for quite a long time. Anyways, gonna keep updating you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. All right, so it is 7.05. We stirred this at 11.30 the night before, so we're getting close to the 24 hour point of running. This test I only started, I only charged my LiPo batteries to 12.2 volts because uh, I want them to last as long as possible and uh, well yeah I store them a lot as well and I like to store them at my charge rate of uh, 12.2 volts, which is not fully charged. 12.6 volts is fully charged, but I charged for 12.2, and we're still sitting at 11.4 volts, almost 24 hours later. I have this fridge turned to max. I'll show you that in a second here. <laughs> All right, let's open this thing up. As you can see, it's turned to max. Trying to get this to focus for you guys. There you go. Minus six there. Plus three degrees there. And anyways, fridge door, plus two degrees. Right now it's just a beer fridge. Uh, I'm gonna put more stuff in it, maybe some waters and some food and stuff. Um, this is going to be my new camping fridge. Oh, it's there. Let's focus there. Uh, there we go. This is going to be my new camping fridge. Um, 
that igloo I had or still have is still pretty good but uh, it, get, it doesn't freeze stuff like this has a freezer that actually will freeze stuff I like that a lot this is cheaper than my igloo was by 50% I only paid $70 for this it was damaged I bought it at Princess Auto it's, it's sometimes they sell slightly damaged stuff it was dropped still works just fine um, uh, what else do I like about this? It turns on and off. It already has a thermal controlled everything. Uh, that igloo I put one in and it worked really well. But this also takes less power than the igloo. It has a higher surge but as it's running it takes about 50 watts running but it also cycles on and off more uh, than the igloo does. So this is this stays off longer uh, than the igloo uh, thermal electric cooler did. So that's another reason I like it. This also has more room inside. Um, all it's missing really is like a handle, but I, I really don't need that either. So I have a feeling that this will run this for a long weekend, so three days. But we're gonna find out exactly how long my 120 amp hour uh, LiPo box can run this fridge for. We'll find out. I, I don't wanna look at uh, any theoretical run times I want to know for sure what is this going to run this fridge for this is 1350 watt hours I believe of power that's 120 amp hours at 12.2 volts you can go all the way up to 12.6 volts but that's only if I really need to run something for a long time I do that but anyways guys hope you guys liked the video hit the like button helps a lot I'll post uh, part two of this later. It's showing how long this actually runs for.